Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Welcome to this part of our platformer tutorial in Game Salad. So in our last um, video, we got the player to fall. Uh, there's a little bit of um, acceleration for gravity, and um, that's about it. So in this episode, we should be adding movement and um, probably jumping as well. So in our player actor, we are going to create a rule. Now a rule is up here, we'll just hit the little plus sign, and uh, we're going to use a rule to check if a key is pressed, and if that key is pressed, then we want it to do something, right? So we're going to say key, and um, we're going to save the left key, because we want it to go left, and um, we're going to do something. Now we could use... Um, we could use a move function, and uh, we'll actually do that, but we're going to undo that after, just so I can show you why we don't want to use the built-in move function um, in here. So let's drag this in. So there we go. We'll say we want to move to the left, which is 180, at a speed of 300. And uh, that's it. So when we press left, it moves left. So let's make a copy of this and make another rule and say, um, let's drag this in. Okay, so now our second rule is going to look exactly like our first rule. Instead of left, it's going to be right. So we'll say key right is down. And we're going to move to the right instead. So for the right, we could use zero. And let's make these relative to the scene. And we're going to do scene just because um, if our actor is on its side, we want right to still mean right. We don't want him to go upwards. So um, let's hit play and see what happens. So we fall and we're on the floor and we can move right. We can move left. And when we hold both of them down, it stays in one place. That seems like it's working, right? But what happens if I press this midair? Let's go ahead and... Uh, retry this uh oh <laughs> we're floating in the air and when I let go he slowly starts to fall but as long as I'm pressing those buttons uh, he is floating so we don't want that to happen so the reason that's happening is the move function moves the character in a direction period to the right that's it um, if you're already going in another direction, for example, when gravity is pulling you downwards, you don't want to just move to the right. You want to move at an angle because you want to be not only moving in the direction you want, but you also want the applied forces to adjust that angle. So um, instead of using this, and I know that sounds really complicated, but really it's not. Um, once, I, once we go through this, you'll see what I mean. Um, we're going to use a function called change attribute behavior called change attribute. And we're going to drag one into each one of these rules we just made after getting rid of the move one. So in the do section, we'll put a change attribute. And the attribute we're going to be looking for, if we hit the uh, change attribute browser, uh, go ahead and click on the attributes and then go to the third one where it says player. And if you named your player something different, it'll be whatever you named it. Go down to motion and you're going to look for linear velocity. Now linear velocity is interesting because you could change the speed at which you're going only on one of the planes. So for example, since gravity is affecting our y-axis and how quickly we fall downwards, we can make our character move on the x-axis and still fall downwards on the y. So we're going to change the linear velocity and for the left arrow we want to use a negative number, so let's say negative 300. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right arrow. We're going to say player, motion, linear velocity, x. And this time we're going to say positive 300 for right. And now when we fall, um, if you notice that, the character actually falls at an angle, right? But now when you, um, when you let go of the the mouse, I mean the arrow keys, your character keeps going. So he's, he's still going even though I'm not pressing anything, and that's a problem. So we want to add some else statements. So if the right key is down, um, 
then do something else, right? So we're going to change attribute again. And uh, for that one, oops, it didn't quite go in. Sorry. It's being a little funky. Let's open this back up. And let's drag this in. Perfect. So now we're going to go to attributes, player, motion, linear velocity, x, and we're going to change it to zero. So that means if we're not pressing the left key, then um, it'll be just zero. And we can copy this and go down to this else statement and paste that there as well and say if, if we're not pressing the right key, then set it to zero. And that seems to work. When we let go, he stops moving. And uh, when we reset the scene, you can see that, um, sorry about that, you can see that the character is actually able to move um, at an angle while he's falling. And that's important for platformers because we have to be jumping around and moving at a bunch of different angles. So we want them to be controlled independently of each other. So all that basically was was when we're pressing the right key change it to 300 and if we're not pressing the right key change it to zero and um, the other key on the left side does the same thing and it checks if it's active if it is then it changes it to negative 300 uh, because it's to the left and um, if not then it goes back to zero so that's how we got movement down so let's go ahead and uh, minimize these and say this is for move left this one's for move right and now we want to be able to jump so uh, let's go ahead and make another platform uh, I know this one's called floor but we can we can just pretend it's a platform so we'll put it up here perfect great so now we have a platform that we want to get up to so let's go into our player and let's add a new rule and that rule is going to be when we press a key the space bar we want to change attribute and just like before we're going to go to our attributes go to player go to motion linear velocity but instead of choosing X we're going to choose Y and Y is our up and down axis so we could say add 400 to that every time we press space um, and we can see that pressing that is a pretty hefty jump so if we go to the right we can actually make it on top of our platform already and we can see our character just fell down which is kind of funny it, it's an interesting game mechanic for sure um, that's not quite what we wanted to happen but it is interesting that it does so um, you'll notice something interesting though when you press space um, if you keep on pressing it you'll keep on going up even if you're not touching the ground even if you're you, like you could double jump but in this case we don't want you to be able to infinitely double jump so what we can do is we can actually add another section to this rule and say if we're pressing space and we're colliding with the floor then we can jump and so when we hit play if we hit space no matter how many times I press it he's not gonna jump again until he's touching the floor so I can go over here and um, well now <laughs> falling but I can come up here and uh, let's go ahead and fix that rotation issue let's go into our player and our actor and then we can scroll down to physics and um, all we have to do is go to fixed rotation and that'll make sure our player doesn't fall over so um, yeah we're we're here we, we can drop down here we can jump up go up here uh, we can't go through blocks so we already have the start to a platformer here. We can jump around the screen. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here because I'm not sure how long I've been rambling on for, but I hope this video helped. And if you liked it, please stay tuned. I'm going to have game salad videos come out every Saturday. So um, keep an eye on those for sure. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Um, also on Patreon, if you want to go support me there, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Peace.